Welcome back, my awesome art students. Today we are going to get started on our negative and positive shape heart painting. First, we're going to get started on our background. And today, for our painting technique, we are going to be using the wet on wet technique. So, for your background, you will just apply water using your paintbrush onto your entire paper, making it slightly wet. Once your paper is wet, then we're going to start adding in the different colors in little sections. That way they will kind of blend together or bleed together. So as you can see, I'm not applying red into my whole entire paper. I'm just applying it in little zigzaggy motions back and forth in certain areas, rinsing my brush off, gently swirling it around in a circle like a ballerina and applying different values or different shades. You can use warm colors, you can use cool colors for your background, or you can use all of them. You can make a rainbow background. Honestly, it's really up to you as long as you are applying the paint in this certain direction. So I'm applying it from like right to left or left to right because I want it to look a certain way. I don't want my background to be completely blended in. I like to see the lines and the colors and all the variations of value within the background. That part is gonna be interesting. If you want some of your area to be lighter, you can just go over it with just more water and that will be a lighter value. If you want some of your areas to be darker, then you can find a darker value like violet or some dark blues. Once you're completely done with your background, then it will go on the drying rack to dry. All right, part two. Once your piece is completely done drying, the next thing we're gonna do is add our negative and positive shape heart. You will get to pick out which color you want for your, this particular part. I have chosen a white half of a heart, but we're gonna make it look like a full heart because we're gonna be cutting off little sections at a time from this half a heart and flipping it, and it's gonna create the full thing. So as you can see, I'm cutting out in a curve way, just like you would to draw a heart, how it's got those curved lines that come down to a point. That's how we're cutting today. So you're going to cut out little sections. And if it's easier to draw this, you totally can. You can use a pencil and draw those curved lines inside of your heart and then cut over those guidelines to help you cut today. Once you have all of your pieces laid out where you want them, then it's time to glue. Today we're using glue bottles. You need to check and make sure it doesn't have any boogers. Twist the cap open and see if it is breathing. Squeeze it and if any air comes out, you're good to go. You could also share your glue bottle with a shoulder partner because you won't need it for very long. I'm starting in the middle and I'm adding a little dot of glue and pressing it down for a couple seconds. These longer strips will need a line of glue, not too much, and then holding it down for a couple more seconds. And you're going to do that on all of your strips. If you have any corners of your heart shapes that are not glued down, then you may want to pick those back up again or pick the corners up and then press and hold them back down to make sure that they're stuck onto your background paper. When you're completely done and you have lined up all of your little heart shapes um, onto your paper and properly glued them down, then make sure to 